and welcome to the first TAF en route for 18 months plus. Bloody hell, it's been a long time. Yeah, we've been at Wembley, but uh, you know, that's not an away day really, is it? First game of the new season, we're playing away to Oldham, and uh, as we say, we are en route in the car with me. Um, I got my wife Leanne doing the filming for me, thank you very much. Um, we've also got Margaret and Phil in the back. Phil, want to say hello to the camera? Hello. So, new season and looking like a very new attacking system that Michael Flynn's going to be employing for our team this year. I think, I think maybe our attacking, um, well, or lack of attacking, was a big reason why we didn't finish in the top three when we could have last year and ended up having a settle for the playoffs. Which uh, I think you know what my feelings are about those playoffs. I'm not going to delve into them too much. Like I say, it's a new season. That's history now. Let's just press on and see what we can do this year. I mean, uh, Phil, what do you think? What do you make of, uh, you know, well, not so much the signings. We won't go too in-depth with the signings just yet. But, um, but then with, with the system that you think Flynn's going to play this season, looking like we could be playing a three up front with wing-backs. Well, so what do you reckon? I think he yeah, plays three at the back, two wing-backs, and hopefully he'll yeah, play three up front. Mm. But... Uh, it's all uh, it's all a guessing game at the moment. By the yeah. way, it's great to be back. Been too long, haven't it? Yeah, yeah, too long. So, as you said, it is going to be a bit of a guessing game with what kind of lineup that Flynn's going to put out because I think there's there's a lot of variation around um, support and opinion on what kind of lineup he's going to play for this one or exactly what formation he is going to play. But judging by how he started against Cardiff. As you rightly say, three at the back with the, the wing backs, two central midfielders and uh, three at front. Um, there's one person in particular that stood out for me and I mentioned him on my last blog and that's Jermaine Hilton who I think is going to be a great player for us because the thing that I'm impressed with is that we've got a lot more pace up front than what we had last year. We're going to pose a completely different threat to what we're used to and Jermaine Hilton I think is going to be a big part of that so I hope that he's going to start um, Timmy Abraham on paper is also a good uh, signing as well. We just need to see a little bit more of him. Um, and then the one signing I was really hoping from the last video that I mentioned, uh, Jordan Greenidge, we've got that signing over the line as well. So for me, I think we've got a, a nice squad full of attacking options, uh, plenty of backup in midfield, versatile players who can play in a number of different positions and we're reinforced well at the back and at full back, of course, with um, the signing of Lewis Hall and Joe Day being back in goal. So, uh, is there any particular player that's going to stand out for you, Phil? Well, I just say, getting to the pre-season friendlies, I'm very impressed with Greenidge. Not, not so much the fact that he's in the right place at the right time. The goals he scored in pre-season were just sim simple tappings, but he was there. He was there on the on the spot where I think we missed that last year. Not knocking Hammond, but he's lost a bit of pace now and he's do, he does a lot of running about for the team. But with Greenidge, he's a, he's a man on a mission. Obviously, we've signed him now for 12 months. Uh, and he's, like everybody else, he's got to fight for his place. But I, I'm impressed with him. Uh, he's a big lump, I think that's something we missed last year, yeah. and I can't wait to see the uh, as are the uh, the Aston Villa player. Well, Finn as yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to see him in action. Mm -hmm. I only see him for half a game, but uh, the the feedback from Villa fans is and West Brom fans. He wasn't given a much. He wasn't given much opportunity there, but he he has got the talent. So hopefully, um, let's hope let's hope that they uh, perform. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I mean, um, as but well, what I like is that we're not relying too heavily on loan signings like we did last season. Because to, to be honest with you, if we'd have kept Twine and Cooper, we'd have won won the division. And, and and I can't see there being any other way around that. You know, we would have absolutely slaughtered. League Two last year, and we'd have been in League One. Uh, we'd have probably signed Scott, Scott, Scott Twine permanently. We would have probably kept Sheehan and uh, Labardi. 
and we'd be looking bloody good, you know, going into the League One season. But say so we're not there. Um, like I said, we've got Tim, Timmy Abraham and the Saz, but then the thing is, if they were to get called back right now, um, there seems to be reinforcements there who, who are going to come in and uh, do a job instead of them. I mean, even with them two on paper, they're very, very good players. There's no guarantee that they'll start. I don't think anyone is a guaranteed starter in this team, which is something that I really like. Well, on, the, on the loan side, it's, there's no two ways about it. And there's a certainty if Twine and Cooper had played out the season with us, we'd be travelling up now to the a Division 1 game. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anybody can deny that. And uh, as you say, we've signed players rather than uh, got loan players. I still think there's a couple to come in. Uh, Flynn's already mentioned he's looking to get rid of two. And uh, hopefully we can pick up another two good players but looking at what we got and it's all it's all if and but they look okay they look fit there's some big lads on there you got Clark Hilton who have been around for a while uh, in our division playing for in the same league so the experience is there and the major factor of one signing Big Joe's back. Yeah. And yeah. I love Townsend and I hope they push each other to uh, they push each other to, to, to get in well they both want to play. It's yeah. gonna me good. Yeah, of course. I mean as you say Joe Day, Joe Day's gonna be a big signing for us. I mean we know what he's about, we know how good he is in goal and I think he is an upgrade on Townsend and King from last season. Again, as you say Townsend, I think, is a very, very good goalkeeper, and uh, and even if he did beat Joe Day to a starting spot at any point during the season, I don't think he's going to start the season eight. I think Joe Day's going to start the season eight. He's going to start the day. Um, you couldn't begrudge Townsend the opportunity in front of Joe Day in any games, but um, but I think having Joe Day there will give us five to ten points extra this season than what we would have had last season, basically. So. Uh, he is going to be a major factor, there's no two ways about it. Mm. But as I, as I said, we just got to keep our fingers crossed, injury free. These players get to play together, hoping for a good season. Yeah, as I say, we were talking about injuries, we had a lot of bad luck injuries, suspensions, and loan signings being called back. I mean, I haven't even mentioned the fact that we had Jamie Proctor and Jamie David and Psycho Janney on loan as well last season in the early parts and uh, Cycle Janney especially was riddled with injury during his time with this but look a promising player so I think now we, we, we've got a system where we, we're not abandoning, abandoning um, an efficient defensive system at the moment um, but what we're doing is reinforcing our attacking options because I, I played on you know the the system changes from Michael Flynn for you know the last few seasons and his first full season we were lacking um, a bit in attack so we reinforced that by signing Jamil Matt and, let, and obviously not uh, giving Nuble what he wanted to stay and he scored 20 goals, Amon scored over 20 goals and fired us into a playoff final um, whereas the season after we relied on trying to bolster the defence because that was our biggest weakness and that was in the de to the detriment of the attack um, last season I think he, he improved our approach play and our possession style play um, instead of being a, a long ball team and that definitely paid dividends but the end product up front was the issue which is why I think we've recruited heavily in attack and he's going to be changing his attacking shape so I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, you know, the the entertaining style of football I'm expecting, um, the pacey strikers, uh, creating chances, causing defensive problems, and of course having a player like Greenidge uh, to play up front, his strength is going to cause problems, you know, alone. I mean, you look at Akin Fenwa. Akin Fenwa can barely run around the football pitch, but his physical presence in in, in the box makes him such a danger man. You know, that's why Wickham are still keeping him. So, you know, could Greenidge be our beast 
we'll see. So, don't, and don't forget, we still got the big man, six foot two, eyes are blue, Kevin Ellison. After yes, you, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I'm <laughs> delighted Kevin Ellison staying as well. Um, you know, it's not just for the fact that he can deliver something on the football pitch, but he scored he scored goals for us last season. I think it was three in total that he scored for us in the major competitions, and they were all three very important goals, very very important goals. So um, he's still got a lot to offer on the pitch, but I'm glad he's taken up a coaching role as well because his character in that dressing room is obviously a big, uh, big influence. So yeah, I'm really pleased. So to rein this one up, then you know the first on route of the season. Let's go with who we think our starting eleven is going to be. Um, I think we've already said three at the back, wing backs, two midfield, three, three at front. I'm going to say, and I think Phil's going to agree with me that Joe Day is going to start in goal. Yeah. Um, the centre backs for me, I'm calling Farquharson, Dolan, and Dimitriou. Yeah. I'm going Aaron Lewis on the right and Brian Haynes on the left at wing backs. Yeah. Well, we're agreeing so far. Happy days. Um, I'm going. Even though I think Upson will start, my choice would be Miss Lou and Azaz. I haven't got a clue. Midfield and up front. I just haven't got a clue. Mm. I'm going there today and I don't even know who I'm going to be shouting at. <laughs> uh, it's 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 going to be it's going to be fun. Yeah, definitely. And then I'm thinking that, that the front three then will be Hilton on the left, Abraham on the right with Greenwich in the centre. That's what I would go with myself. The person I think Flynn start with Lewis Collins today. Uh, I, the, only, the only positive thing I... I Hopefully, I, Greenwich should start, but in between that, it could be Tom, Dick or Harry, because I haven't got a bloody clue. <laughs> yeah, it, it'll all come together during the, during the beginning games of the season, Phil, so, uh, you know, looking forward to it. Um, like I said, I, I've got a good feeling that we're going to start the season well, you know, a, a lot of our newer players are going to shine right from the beginning. And uh, with all them and their COVID worries, I've got a feeling that we're going to pull it out of the bag today. So my prediction, we're going on to yours shortly, but my prediction is that we're going to win 2-0 today. What do you say, Phil? I'd be happy with a draw. I'd be over the moon with three points. Let's go and do it. Oh, by the way, welcome back, Robbie Wilmot. Love you. The, oh, the, 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 there's another one that we're having back. Hopefully, we'll, we'll we'll get to see Robbie playing as a winger this season because that's where he's best, personally. But anyway, that's all we're going through today. Um, for those going, we'll see you up there. For those not, hope you enjoy the video, and uh, we'll be posting hopefully some good atmospheric videos later when we score in some goals. Hopefully, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for them. Cheers for now, everybody, and as always, up the port, up the county.